If you live in a house or apartment, there has probably been a time when you have needed to test a socket outlet. It could simply be that the device you plugged in isn't working, or perhaps it is a more serious issue. Either way, you may well have used one of these. I have used one for years. To my horror, I recently watched a video on the Tech Circuit channel, link in the description, which highlighted the device's limitations. So I decided to do some research and experimentation. In this video, I will be looking at these limitations and what device may offer a better solution. As always, this video is not sponsored. To get started, let's take a look at the device I built for test purposes from parts I had to hand. That said, I did have to purchase the project box. Link in the description. I call it the Tester, Tester or TT. The reason for building this TT was simply to keep things safe while I experimented with high voltage. I took extra care while testing the device with the cover off as I have a small electronics bench which makes accidental contact with wires more likely. I also use these protective gloves rated at 500 volts. Again, see the description for a link. As you can see, the TT is a fairly simple device which uses toggle switches to modify the wiring path from the wall socket to the plugged in tester. It is fitted with an easily changeable 2 amp fuse as a precaution. As I'm only using it to test testers, 2 amps is more than enough. In fact, it was the lowest value I had to hand. This way, if there are any issues or switch combination which cause a short circuit, and there is, the fuse will pop instead of the circuit tripping at the wall panel. As it will only be me using the TT, I decided to save time by using a label maker instead of my usual full colour printed vinyl sheet method. As you can see, each switch performs a wire configuration change which can be used alone or in combination with other switches. This will enable me to demonstrate the drawbacks of this device and allow me to illustrate the improved functionality of more modern devices. In this case, the more modern device is this digital outlet tester, which has many advantages over the old analog version. There is a link in the description to this, but there are many similar versions available on Amazon. Just a quick note, in this video I will be discussing the North American domestic wiring system. I know that I have viewers in the UK and other parts of Europe, so I wanted to clear up some potential ambiguity. When I refer to the hot wire, this is the same as the live wire. When I refer to the ground wire, this is the same as the earth wire. Now with that out of the way, let's play. Here, with the TT powered up and the analog tester plugged in, we can see that the power socket tests as correct. This is indicated by the two yellow lights being on and the red light being off. We compare this light sequence against the chart on the top of the tester, shown here. Here, having activated switch 2, we can see the light sequence which indicates an open ground. In this example, activating switch 4 gives us an open neutral. With switch 5 activated, we can see the tester indicating that the hot and neutral wires are reversed. All well and good. So what is the problem? The problem is that there are wire combinations which can't be detected. The primary reason for this is the hot wire not being correctly connected. As we can see here, no hot wire, no lights illuminated. That is because there is nothing available to power the lights. This is why a self-powered digital unit is best. This device also displays the voltage detected at the socket. If there is no hot wire connected, this can be reported to the user. As we can see here, when no voltage is present, the voltage display reads zero. This display shows that everything is correctly connected. This tester can also test your electrical panel's CFCI, ground fault circuit interrupter, for the circuit the tested plug socket is on. I can confirm that this worked. The tester also has a NCV, non-contact voltage detector, integrated into the unit, as can be seen demonstrated here. As this video is intended to illustrate the differences between analog and digital testers and is not a review, I will not be covering all of its features. However, a link to the device's user manual can be found in the description. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe as it will really help the channel to grow. And please do feel free to leave a comment as I take the time to read all posted comments. Stay safe and I will see you soon.